guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a little ulta haul for you guys if you guys are interested in the products that i used on my face today then i will link that video down below so you guys can go check it out and while you're checking out that video you might as well subscribe to my channel subscribing is absolutely free just in case you were wondering okay so i'm on a bit of a time crunch so let's just jump straight into it there's not many products, but I get really excited for makeup, as you can tell, so... The first item is this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I mean, it's kind of like a must-have, but every time I went to go get this, it was always sold out, and finally, finally, it was in stock. So, I grabbed it. So creamy! I love it. I have the black one, I think, in like Cocoa Bean or something like Bean. I think it's called. I don't know, but these are amazing. The next few items. <laughs> uh, I went a little crazy with, with this part. Um, I mainly just wanted a white eyeliner for some of the looks that I have planned, but I ended up getting four different colors. <laughs> so this is the first one, the original one that I went for white i was just desperately in need of a white eyeliner for some makeup tutorials i have planned and uh this is the first one that i saw and i grabbed it hopefully it doesn't crack i don't know i didn't really read any reviews yet i sh probably should have but now the next color is yellow which i mean i'm not a huge fan of yellow but I ended up getting it because I pictured this in a different makeup tutorial. I, I don't know. That's that one. The next one is red, which is so cool. Let me see. Oh, do, they, do these have colors? Well, this one is just called white. This one is called Vivid Halo, the yellow one. And this one is called Vivid Fire. I was actually looking for a red eyeshadow. Apparently, it does does not exist in Ulta. I don't I don't know why. Um, I don't know why a red eyeshadow is so hard to find. But I know that Morphe has a palette with a red eyeshadow, and and I actually wanted a yellow eyeshadow as well. But but still, every time I go on the Morphe website, it's always sold out. So if you guys do know of any affordable but uh, really good colorful eyeshadows, preferably matte, like a matte red and a matte yellow, then please let me know. And the final color is this amazing blue one. This is called Vivid Sapphire. It's like a bright cobalt blue. In my quest to get a red eyeshadow, the closest I got was this NYX Vivid Brights cream color. And this is in Cyberpop, but when I swatched it, it was like a neon, like red orange. Definitely not like a red. You know what I mean? I mean, this would be nice for like a summer neon look, I guess, but just not what I was looking for. <laughs> But either way, I'm still excited. I have not tried any of these Vivid Brights cream colors from NYX, so... We shall see. The next item is something that I hear about all the time. Um, it is this Mario Badescu skincare facial spray. And I got the one with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And this, oh my gosh, it smells so nice. Oh. If you don't like the scent of roses, then you will not like this but I love the scent. It says it's for all skin types, which is awesome. And I know that rose water and aloe are great for your skin, so. The final item is the most expensive item. And probably the most expensive item that I've ever, well, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, but still. <sighs> so I desperately wanted an SPF because my husband and I are planning on going on a vacation. Planning. Planning. But um, we're planning on going like to the beach or somewhere like warm and sunny. And 
so I really wanted a like an SPF that's good for the face and that won't break me out you know good for sensitive skin and all that um, because normally I I mean I used to just totally avoid putting anything on my face which I know is not good so the one I wanted well actually two of the ones that I heard really good reviews about and that don't leave a white cast were um, both in Sephora and unfortunately we did not have time to go to Sephora but the only one that came close to what I wanted was this guy this is by Shiseido and it is this anti-aging UV care um, urban environment oil-free UV protector broad spectrum SPF 42 for the face and it says it's water resistant 40 minutes and yeah this is the sunscreen so this sunscreen was I believe like $36 <laughs> already too expensive already too expensive but look how big it is What is this? Why is it so tiny? For $36. Oh. But it did have really good reviews. And I did not want to break out. So the SPF that I tried out earlier was this one by Olay. It says it's an all-day moisturizer with sunscreen and it's SPF 30. And it says it's for sensitive skin with vitamin E and aloe. Um, this leaves a white cast, like a definite white cast. And I broke out uh, pretty badly. So yeah, so hopefully this does not give me a white cast. Um, I'll leave down like a little review in the description box below once I've used it and yeah. But ho hopefully, I don't regret buying this. Alright guys, so that's it for my mini Alta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!